Hi, we're Ginger and Greg. Things have actually been going pretty smoothly over the last six weeks as we've begun building our dream expedition vehicle. But all that is about to change. I'm so annoyed right now. If they've lost these packages and we have to wait another five weeks. Oh, shoot. Oh. Yeah, it's broken. Oh, no. Well, I was hopeful and now I'm disappointed. You always have to have something negative to say. It's not negative. Just realistic. Did you get the frog out? Where to go? So, so frustrated. How do how do three packages get shipped together, make it from China to the US together? Arrive from China to Memphis, Tennessee together. And FedEx manages to separate them from Tennessee to Missouri. That's a mystery to me. It is for sure weird. I don't understand either. How they couldn't make that up, mess that up. Hey, but at least we have one window. We can see the quality, we can see if it matches the size that it's supposed to be. I know, but now, I mean, these windows took five weeks to make. If they've lost these packages, and we have to wait another five weeks, then, I mean, we can just plan on wintering in Missouri at that point. I know you're disappointed that we didn't get all the windows, but would a smoothie make it better? Yes, I think it would. All right. I won't know until I until I drink it. You are so difficult. But you love me. I do love you. My hero. Oh yeah. Get up. Oh, sorry. <laughs> All right. So, do you feel better now? I feel better now. Good. I'm glad that you feel better. I have to say, I think our choice in smoothies is like a metaphor for our personalities. Your smoothie is peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, and banana. It's perfect. And my smoothie is spinach, kale, mango, and banana. Yep. <laughs> they don't need so much better. But this one's better for you. Not necessarily, no. Yes, it is. Spinach, kale, hello. It might be better for you. Oh, that car is leaving. Let's not crash. Hello. And then which way is yours better for you? If not for your health? Because morally. More, me wait. Me mentally. I was going to say morally. Mentally. Mentally. Make me feel good. So we fell in love with these European RV windows. Um, there is no US manufacturer of this style of window. Um, there is a U.S. distributor for one of the European brands, but it is super, super costly whether you get it from the U.S. distributor or whether you try to get them directly from Europe. It is a fortune. So what we did instead, and this was my idea, and this is why I'm super nervous about these windows, is we had them custom made by a company in China, and they were so much cheaper. I just, I'm really, really nervous because if this doesn't work out, if these windows are crap quality or the wrong size, I basically just wasted $1,500. And so there are going to be good windows. So I'm curious to open this one and see what it looks like. Let's and open our one window. Yeah. I think the pa packaging look all right. Uh, I'll tell you if I like it once I open it. Oh, Woo! it looks to be in one piece. Oh my God, this window looks so big. Holy crap. Oh 
Oh my god. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the other reason is that I wanted to go with these windows is that I could actually get them much bigger than the European ones that the U.S. supplier offers. Not bad, eh? I'm pretty excited about the size of it. Now we just have to see the quality of it. Yeah, it looks all scratch up. Ah ha ha. It's a film, protective film on top. So they customized the skirt for us to make it three inches thick. Which, with the Euro windows, we could not have done. We would have had to buy a kit for like another $600. So as of right now, I'm thinking this might be a win for me. We won't know until we keep putting it together. But so far, Greg, what do you think? I mean, so far it's okay. The quality is not necessarily the best. Like, for example, here, you know, the thing they're moving. I mean, as long as it works and it's watertight, that's all we really need, right? Right. To save $2,000, I think I'm okay with a couple of little, you know, hiccups. Mm hmm So I've confirmed with the order, and this is the dinette window. This is the big window. So the kitchen window will be a little bit smaller. It's so big. I'm so happy with it. Yeah. Um, the one thing maybe... Oh, shoot. I think the plastic is cracked. The actual window? Yeah, it's broken. Oh no! Well, I guess we're gonna find out what kind of customer service this Chinese company offers. Yeah. This is not great though. Oh, that sucks. Oh my god, that really sucks. I know you were just hoping that it was the plastic. You were joking about it earlier. Mm. Crap! All right, let me take a picture and we'll email them. So this is definitely on my list of worst case scenarios. It's damaged and now we have to find out if they're going to, um, I don't know, give us another window or if we're gonna have to fight with FedEx on the damage. This is not great. Well, I was hopeful and now I'm disappointed. Now the next time that we can get the window is as soon as another five week. The skirt size that they had to customize it, from what I understand, took the longest. So they may be able to replace, I don't know. The window panel? The window panel. Know. All right. I guess uh, let's try to contact that company. I did. I emailed them. You're fast. Damn girl, you're fast. So I just got a text that our roof hatch has been delivered to the front door, which was not at all expected. Thought they were both going to UPS or to uh, FedEx. There it is. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I don't have a lot of hope. So the box is actually made out of wood and so it's a little bit heavier than I was anticipating. So I'm gonna go get Greg to, uh, to carry it because I can't carry it with one hand holding the camera. And since I already have the camera, We'll get Greg to carry the box. You guys can see our basement apartment. I need help. The box is made out of wood. It's very heavy. I need your big, strong muscles. Show us your guns. <laughs> I have to warn you that the box is broken. I hope you're kidding. Huh? I hope you're kidding. Um, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm really not kidding. You think I'm kidding. You think I'm joking. I hope you are. I hope it's... I hope what's in the box is not broken. We're gonna, gonna find out. It's probably because they were looking for what's inside. I mean, let's hope that it was a customs check, but I don't think so. All right, deja vu. Let's open it in the same place we opened the last one. Let's hope that it doesn't end up the same. It's just like stuffing. Yeah. So this one is definitely a better pack, no? There is definitely a lot of Definitely. I'm gonna go ahead and guess that it's gonna be fine because the packing was better. What do you think? At this point, um, I don't want to make any guess. It does not look cracked. What it do you think? Does not look cracked. You are correct. I think it would be nice to be able to lay in bed and. Looking at the stars, see the different constellations. 
All right, so it's the weekend in China, so I haven't heard much back from the company. Um, last I heard, they are going to send us a replacement window, so I think things are going to work out fine. But in the meantime, we can go ahead and cut for the hatch. We've double checked our CAD drawing for the location, and we are for sure going to measure multiple times before we cut, so we don't make the same mistake as we did doing the solar. But yeah, I think we're going to start with the roof hatch and get that up. Right, so just cutting that beam you can see it's only cutting one side you can see already how much pressure there was on the beam just by itself alone i'm gonna weld uh, some beams to reinforce the ceiling at this location hi so i'm definitely not the best welder but it will work so i welded pieces around to make it uh, to strengthen the, fair, the, the frame since I cut that. And uh, I think we are ready now to install the hatch. I am so excited. Why? I think it looks so good. And I think it's a nice looking hatch. Doesn't really matter because we won't really see it. Yeah, I mean, no one will even know it's up here because it's so low profile. Yeah. We did have a little debate on which direction to install it. Um, I wanted to install it so that it opened this way so that it never shaded the panels. Greg wanted to install it so it opened this way. Do you want to yes. explain why? So my, my reasoning, my thinking was if for whatever reason, we forget to close this hatch. But we, do you mean me? It doesn't matter who. If someone forget to close the hatch, um, I have hope that starting driving, maybe the wind will push it down instead of Before just... Before we run into a bridge. Yeah. Or something gonna push it down and close it instead of ripping it open. And you think it's worth a little bit of shading that we're gonna get? Yes. We'll see, hopefully we never leave it open. Yeah. I don't know, I'm so excited. Good job, Greg. Thank you. Okay, deja vu. We are heading back to FedEx. I got a text this morning that our remaining window has been found and the screen for our roof hatch is there. So we're heading there to pick it up now. It all feels so familiar. I think the jury is still out on whether or not this was worth the money savings. Look pretty promising, I guess. That would be the term. Today we're going to be cutting the window. Measured twice, three times. Hopefully we just have to do one cut. outside it looks huge and this is the smaller of the two windows yeah it is a pretty big hole though i know i really love it good i mean imagine now when we have that one in it feels so open in here yeah but don't forget it's gonna not be as open because there's a frame oh my god you always have to <laughs> you always have to have something negative to say it's not negative just realistic I also really love that when we're in here, right? I mean, people walking by can't really see in here. Yeah. Because the window is so Unless they are giants. Unless they are giants or on a ladder, yeah. All right, so what's next? What's next? Well, I have to clean up the edge. 
and where do you have to weld? So, I mean, this worked out really good though, because here, right? I mean, we don't have to weld anything in below, yeah. nothing in up top. You only have to put a weld where? On that side. 